How you doing? My name is Tom Crandall from InTheTrendNow.com and what I have here is called the Omegavert 350 and some people have asked you know how hard is it to clean up after you've juiced so I have my juice in here and I have what's left over from the carrots and stuff like that in here so today what I did was I juiced uh, cucumber, carrots, kale and some pear and then just put it down through the chute. So anyway, for the cleanup, it's uh, relatively easy. Uh, this is a little plunger thing. There's not much uh, food on there. So basically, I just start the water, sort of rinse it off a little bit, get if there's any food particles. That takes care of that one. And then this top part, you can see there's some food in there. So again, just a simple rinse. And that pretty much takes care of that. Now sometimes uh, what's uh, useful is, I'll just put this back on, is to actually run the water uh, through the system. So typically what I'll do is I'll put my juice in a cup, put this back on, and then get like a cup full of water and turn the machine back on. And then what I'll do is I'll just run water through the machine and you see it sort of spills out there. What this does is it's just an easy way to clean the machine a little bit more uh, prior to actually going through and cleaning it. So I'm going to turn it and take this off and it's pretty clean so I'm just going to rinse it off a little bit. Just get rid of the food there. Then the next thing is uh, this uh, filter and if I just take this off first there's not a lot of food on here um, just on the little fins, the little wipers. So again, I'll just rinse that off. And that comes off pretty easy. Then the next thing is the actual auger. And as you can see, the auger here has got a bunch of food particles. So I'm um, just again going to try to do a quick rinse and that should get rid of most of it. Um, they have a tool, it looks like a toothbrush and a screwdriver. So you can use the uh, screwdriver in to sort of get the food out. And that's pretty much it with the auger. So that's done. Then the next thing is the actual filter. And again, the filter's got a bunch of uh, food particles inside there. So this is where you're actually going to use the brush the most and you just sort of brush it around um, on the screen itself, use the little screwdriver thing to get any excess and pretty much you can just sort of rinse. Uh, so then what I do is I, I'll, I'll typically use the, screw, or the toothbrush part right along here on the filter itself to try to get rid of like you can I don't know if you can see this but there's a bunch of carrots and stuff like that in there uh, carrot skin so what I'll do is just brush it just go around the entire uh, filter and do the same thing on the bigger bigger filter do a little bit on the inside just, uh, get whatever particles are stuck on the filter out. And that's pretty much it for the filter. So then the next part is right here. You can see there's a food stuck in, in this one. And that's pretty much it. So I'm, I'm gonna, again, gonna run some water through there. The one uh, juice spout is clean. So on the back of the, uh, on the back of this, there's this little rubber gasket, and you can just pull that, and that's going to allow you to send water through this angle. And so what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to use the screwdriver in and just grab the food out that way. So I'll just sort of push the food out, and then I'm going to just run some water under it again. That's going to get the majority of it. I still see some in there. Again, just use a screwdriver in. Run the water through the other side. And just run the water through here. 
and that's clean. So then I'll just set that to dry. And then the last part, um, typically here's all the excess stuff, the skin and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll usually give a little bit to my dogs, my pugs. And then uh, here you just rinse it out and you're, you're done. Thanks a lot for viewing the video. Again, my name's Tom Crandall from InTheTrendNow.com and I'll have more videos and you can also check out my website or my Twitter feed or my Facebook for fitness advice, uh, fitness product reviews, and nutrition. So thank you very much and have a great day.